Happy Sabbath, everyone. Um, from Braden Entman, my wife Elise Entman, my son Levi Entman, and this is Laura Rootman. Um, this is Elise's sister, so my sister-in-law. It's a blessing uh, to be with you all this evening. In fact, it's actually not evening here for us, though. Uh, we're presenting this night's sing-along from Finland. And I just want to say that outside is so beautiful, and if our, our the tripod that's holding um, the phone, if it was not taped to a, a light at the present moment, I would take it outside and, and show you uh, the beautiful uh, berries that are hanging on the trees, the pine trees, the birch trees, uh, which are just such a blessing for us to live in this environment. It's so beautiful and quiet. Um, I just want to say for anyone who has been um, aware of our move to Finland and has prayed for us, uh, we would like to thank you so much for doing that. Uh, because we believe, and as we look at this whole journey to Finland, Oh, it's been such a blessing. Uh, we see God's hand making what seems to be an impossibility. You know, moving across the world during coronavirus with all the restrictions, uh, we're here. And it's been such a blessing this month and a half to um, be together, to kind of decompress after what's been quite a stressful, uh, intense past few months. And uh, we've been here for a while now, but we haven't actually spent a lot of time together, mm. and speaking at Laura, and actually singing music together. Laura has uh, a gift that God's given to her, a, a gift of, of singing, and it's so good that she's here with us tonight to be able to sing with you. So I'm going to refer to tonight because most of the people are, it's night time, it's dark outside. For us, we've got a long way to go yet. Um, but yeah, I want to welcome you. And I would like to start with a prayer tonight, if that's okay. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we unite tonight with one, by several, uh, very common elements. We we unite because we are drawn to Jesus. His love for us has is, is charmed our hearts, um, but we also unite in a love for music. And we pray that you would uh, unite with our voices here in this room, and as this, um, this live stream goes to the homes and hearts of many people all around the world, I pray that you would carry very, very special blessings to each individual. Uh, we believe that uh, you can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. And so I pray that that would be fulfilled tonight for every listener, um, that you take them to places um, that you long to take them, give them the peace that passes all understanding, and for anyone who is stressed beyond belief or dealing with difficulties, that they find relief um, listening to and singing along uh, with these songs. So we invite your presence, we pray that you bless our time, in Jesus' name, amen. For anyone who's just joined in, um, welcome, uh, a special welcome to you. Before we sing our opening song, actually we might sing our opening song and I'll, I'll share what I was going to say. Because we're in Finland, uh, when in Finland, uh, sing Finnish songs. We're not going to sing them all in fin Finnish because you won't understand. But we're going to sing the first one in Finnish. And if you'd like to know what the, the lyrics are, it's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. We didn't write this song. Um, a Finnish Adventist lady uh, wrote this song and... Um, if I knew her name off the top Sadie. of my head. Sadie. 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 Our friend Sadie. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I don't know if, if Sadie is going to listen to this, but thank you for writing such a beautiful song. It helped me to learn my first Finnish sentences. So, here we go.
or two people listening that understood all of those words. Um, such beautiful, powerful words. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 were one of the first verses that I memorized um, when I was getting a little bit older. And it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. And this whole very, very fascinating journey for us transitioning to Finland, um, I've clung to that verse the whole way through, because God says, I will direct your paths. And if in your life you are, um, I'm sure that this is the case, because we're all going through it, we're, we have uncertainties, we're wanting to know where to go and what to do um, as we make decisions, cling on to that verse there. Um, I just see a message from my nan. Hey, nanny, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, she probably hasn't seen Levi for a little while. Um, he's your great-grandson and sleeping peacefully. Um, and he may sleep through the whole lot. Who knows? <laughs> we, um, we have rather soft voices, so there's a high chance that he might, he might say something. Okay, so outside, I just want to tell you a little, paint a bit of a picture of where we are here in Finland. We are... Um, we're close to civilization. We can get to shops and things like that, but you wouldn't know it if you walked outside. There are so many pine forests, birch forests, and it just extends and extends and extends. There's beautiful lakes all around. And if I was to take you right now with the, the camera, I could take you out to blueberries growing in the woods. Uh, we've got these other berries hanging on the trees. Um, strawberry season has passed along with the raspberries, but I have, um, along with the leaves, we've been picking blueberries and we have picked buckets load of blueberries and it's been such a blessing for us. Mm -hmm. um, we, I saw um, a message before, I think it said Jamaica is in the house. Welcome to Jamaica <laughs> um, and to wherever you're from. Um, I see Stanthorpe, hey Stanthorpe. Um, God bless you all as you, as you join with us tonight. We're going to sing another few songs and then I'm going to look up and I'm going to try to keep track of these uh, song requests. Isn't he wonderful? Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard, it's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus my Lord wonderful? As you can imagine, for us leaving them, coming over here, it's, it's been a big thing. I just want to say hi to you both. I hope your Sabbath has started well. Um, might have to FaceTime a little later or tomorrow and say hi. Okay, what songs? Have you got any suggestions? Otherwise, we've got several. Fill in the gap. Laura, would you like to pick a song for us? Sure. I think Jesus loves me. Oh, yes. We've got three boys and um, singing a lot of the last seven years. I've been singing a lot of the kids' songs more often, and they've really blessed me uh, deeply as well. Simple lyrics, but such deep, profound concepts. Um, yeah. It doesn't get more profound than Jesus loves me. No. It? Jesus loves me when I'm good, when I do the things I should. Jesus loves me when I'm bad, even, when I, even though it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. If we could just know that verse alone and internalize it, that we can't change his love for us. It's very hard for us to understand, but um, even in running in opposition to him, his love stays constant, it remains unchanged. Uh, so be encouraged with that.
I was in a different country. I was in Costa Rica, and I was just, um, I was asking God, God, give me a sign that you actually love me. Give me a sign. And then re remembering that song, the lyrics of Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. If I have the whole Bible from God that tells me about his love, what more could he give that I would believe? Mm. And so, yeah, those, those words just stuck with me from then. Thanks for sharing, Elise. One was As the Deer. Okay, As the Deer. I've been trying to write down and memorize a few of them. You'll notice that I've never played this guitar before on a sing-along and there's a very good reason for that. Um, mine's still in transit. I, I, I contacted the shipping company the other day and I said, hey, um, any, any idea when our things will arrive in Finland? And they said, when it leaves Australia, we'll let you know. <laughs> there's been a lot of, um, I guess, a bit of backlog of shipping um, around the world. And the things that we are sending over here is not that much, but it was the things that we thought that we needed. Uh, it turns out that, with the exception of a few things, we're doing quite okay without it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny thing about life, isn't it? We can live quite simply. But I'm um, grateful for my mother-in-law. This is her guitar. She's had for quite a number of years. And um, it's quite a nice one. So. Take a guess. People might have been watching this little boy during that song. <laughs> he's, he's come alive and he's, um, I think he's still quite, quite calm. Hey, Levi. <laughs> let's, let's sing this quickly before he starts making um, a racket. Um, how about we do the fall of time of God? Okay.
things that we find um, will always find such a difficult thing is that um, Jesus became one of us and he's our brother and the Bible says that he's our high priest the representative of the human family uh, that knows what it's like to walk on this earth who happens to be God but also became a man to basically restore our fallen race um, to God again and there's another thing in in Romans chapter 8 the Bible says that we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ so basically what that means is that what Jesus earned by his faithful life and his love to God and faithfulness he's willing to give us and allow us to share in his inheritance um, which is just a it's so unfair it's it's called grace um, I saw um, a near to the heart of God I did see that and I was trying to remember it it's one of my favorites let's do that one let's go to this one. Number four ninety five Thank you, in the SDA hymnal. Thank you for that suggestion here and that was I love that song so much it's a real blessing I saw um, a few recommendations I saw ancient words come up a few times mm -hmm. I saw softly and tenderly I saw Sabbath rest I saw my young friend Ezekiel his mum Carrie from the Maitland area just want to say hi to you guys um, hope you're doing well. Greetings from us.
Softly and tenderly, number 287 in the SDA. Ancient words.
the C key first. The lyrics of this um, are taken from the scriptures. Um, from what I remember, I think it's Matthew chapter 6. Jesus says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Also, Matthew chapter 4, um, men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And then back to Matthew chapter 6, I believe, again, it talks about asking and receiving. Um, <laughs> uh, the scripture song a few years ago. Um, but before we get to that, I just wanted to just touch base, uh, just pause briefly on the, the lyrics of that song. Um, it's it's very easy to read Matthew chapter six, and if you haven't done it for a while or haven't done it ever, I encourage you to read it. In fact, chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven, it's what's called the Sermon on the Mount. It's basically the constitution of the government of God. Um, it's basically Jesus expounding what it's like to be part of His kingdom. Um, and one of the things he says, he says, look at the flowers that grow in the field. They don't spin, they don't toil, um, but look how beautiful they are. Um, they don't stress and worry, they just sit there beautifully in the field, um, and God makes them beautiful. Um, he talks about the birds, and we see some birds outside flying around, and they have no care, anxiety, trying to build barns, like, have you need to store up? God has his way of providing for them. He says, how much more value are you than they? God will take care of you. And Jesus goes so far as to say that the Gentiles of the world, that is the people who don't know God, he said, their primary anxiety in this life is, what am I going to eat? What am I going to wear? Where am I going to live? Oh, there's all these worries that are just basically driving us forward. All these worries as if we don't have a heavenly father who will pour out heaven um, to, to provide for us, who will send ravens to supply food for our family. Jesus says, and he's explaining, you need to understand how good the Father is. You don't have to spend your life like those who don't know God, running around trying to solve all of these basic anxieties, like, oh, I've got to find this, 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 and this. Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be taken care of. Um, that may sound a little crazy to you, but um, what I've learned in my life and this whole move to Finland has just reminded me that God is ultra capable, more than capable of doing things that we could never have imagined. And if time permitted, I'd be able to share with you just the amazing things that God has done to provide for us in ways we could never, ever expect. What does it mean to seek God's kingdom? Uh, that is to understand and to know it and also to be part of it.
um, to seek to understand and to be close to the King, um, to know and understand Christ. And then it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And that is to seek to be like him. If your ambition in this life is to reveal the loveliness of Christ's character, you are on the right track. And if that is your priority, if that is the burden of your life, you will see things happening in your life where God takes care of you in ways you cannot possibly expect. We have a Heavenly Father. We don't have to stress as though we don't have one. We have a good Heavenly Father. Um, do you want to introduce this song, Louise? I don't know the Bible. Don't you love that when you have to reach for the Bible uh, to sing a song? <laughs> I'm sure uh, King David could teach us uh, a number or two from the book of Psalms. So this is from uh, one of the, the songs of praise in the book of Revelation, um, where created beings looking at the glory of God and how he deals with the sin problem. Um, and how God gave himself, poured out his life to save and to redeem. Uh, there's so many of these anthems and songs of praise in the book of Revelation, especially the early, cha early chapters. Five. Chapter 5, verse 13. Okay. Blessing. Sabbath rest does keep coming up. Um, it's a beautiful song, Sabbath rest. I love it. Written by one of my favourite um, songwriters, Gail Jones Murphy. Someone said, Okay. If that is an issue, if, if um, you can't hear properly, please um, um, jump in there. Maybe only Sandra, if you want to just comment there. Because if he's okay. We might just have to leave him. I can sing high, these girls sing really high. Let's let's do D.
for that suggestion. I saw my cousin Jake just tune in. Hey Jake, good to, good to have you in here. Um, Jake actually came over as one of my groomsmen for our wedding several years ago, and so you know where we are, Jake? We're at Amy Marcus' place. Um, it's a little warmer than we were here. Hope you're doing well, mate. I saw Give Me Jesus a few mm -hmm. times. We've also got Above All here. And... Thank you. always hunger for. Um, we all know this intuitively, that there's a hungering in our soul that we try to satisfy with many, many different things. Um, a lot of them have a temporary satisfaction, but they, um, the Bible talks about um, broken systems that cannot satisfy. It just can't hold water. And that is what we often run to. I heard an amazing quotation one time that said, there is a God-shaped void in our heart and only God can fill it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's my prayer, our prayer, for each of you that you find that, um, it's almost like that, that missing piece that you've um, been looking for and longing for. And it says that we've been hungry for grace. And I just want to take the liberty of just explaining that a little bit. Um, to be truly known and yet simultaneously truly loved is the greatest need and the greatest desire of the human heart. Um, for someone to be able to look at us and know everything about us, to know who we really are, all the ups and the downs, the failures that we've had, and still with a, a sparkle in the eye and a, a smile on the face, fully, fully love us. 
And that is what God provides. That is what God provides for each of us. If humans come, that's just a little way. We can taste love from people, but it's, uh, it's God's love that we're craving for and hungering for. Okay, um, any suggestions? Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Wonderful. Now, is that the song that my mum suggested? Someone's, someone um, reminded me that I should choose my mum's song. I can't remember which one it was. <laughs> but likely because this is her favourite song. soon. That's just right there. I can see it. Where, can we do that? Where is Sandra? Um, very far away. Very far away. We're here in Finland. For those of you who have tuned in um, a bit later, we're here in Finland. Um, Elise and I have just moved over here. And um, for those of you who weren't here at the very beginning, this is Laura, my sister-in-law, Elise's sister. Um, I think they look alike. And they are two of four sisters. Maybe we can get all the sisters on singing together at some point. That'd be lovely. So yeah, we're here in Finland, um, about two and a half hours northeast of Helsinki, um, near a place called Mikkeli.
news to you also in Romania. What time is it here in Finland, someone asks? It's uh, 12.55. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, it'd be an early one if it was. <laughs> Terry and Helen. Oh, some of our favourite people. Hope you guys are well. Okay. Hey, it's on. That's number Watch ye saints, um, and we'll do above all for my friend Ezekiel. And this is number five ninety eight. Not too far. It appears that the power is not charging my phone. Mm. Give us one second here. Maybe we'll cease charging Elisa's phone. That seems to be charged. If you need to get a drink or anything, now's the time. Can we sing something in Finnish? All going well, that should be charging my phone. So the song is Watch Ye Saints, number 598. <clears throat>
Um, it says at the last floor. They, they, they are there. Just <laughs> good to, yeah, well, there they are. We've got two more verses. Let's go. Nations Daniel, it is filled with amazing stories of faith, but also of prophecies. And one of the things that's consistent is that the, um, the nations and the kingdoms of this world rise and they fall. But the kingdom of God stands forever. And it's not because God is just so much more powerful, though he is. It's because his kingdom is built on eternal principles. If you build uh, a business, uh, a, a, a kingdom built upon me first, me first, me first, putting others last, and prioritizing myself and my needs, that kingdom is doomed, or that organization is doomed to unravel. But with the kingdom of God, God is the fountain of perfect selfless love, and those that he invites into his kingdom share his values. And that's why the kingdoms of this world are falling apart, because they're not built upon the principles of God's word. And so don't be alarmed. Jesus said that he is soon going to come, and he's going to set up his kingdom, which will last forever. Above all powers, above all things, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world began. Above all kingdoms, 
Galvin. See you then, pop up there. Okay. Um, I did see Be Still yes. My Soul. We gotta do that one. When in Finland. That's a, that's a Finnish hymn. No, it's not a hymn. But it's not a, not, a, not a hymn, but it's a Finnish song, I should say. It's been borrowed and uh, a hymn has been written to the same lyrics. The Sibelius? Sibelius. Mm -hmm. say? During the time Finland was still under the rule of Russia. Okay. Number 461. Mercifully um, staying in tune. My, my tune note is a long way away, it's still in the shipping and transit. And, uh, yeah. It's nice. Website that we're on here is um, missing the unique choruses that each of the verses have. I think that maybe the SAF has that as well. Mm. Uh, uh, Be still, my soul, the waves and wind still mm. know his voice who ruled them while he dwelt below. 
that would have to be one of my favourite lyrics in a song ever written. Um, so powerful the metaphor and really, really encouraging. So there's been a few suggestions for a finished song that is not finished as well. Okay. So there's like holy, 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 you could sing. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's also Windows of the Glory. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. Yes, the angels. Puha, Puha, Puha. Also known as Holy, Holy, Holy. from that book. It would all fall apart for me if I wasn't reading those lyrics. What's our time here? Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're fine. Okay, so it's 17 past one here. Um, but what would that be, eight? What for you all? Or for some of you? Braden wrote this next song um, a few years ago, 2017 was it? And I heard it the first time when he sang it for a youth event um, that he was speaking at here in Finland uh, in the fall 2017. And ever since, it's been just such a great blessing to me and I sing it a lot <laughs> um, when I'm alone and with the kids and it's just really an encouragement and I know that it will bless you as well. Say it in the car. 
This is my father's world. Thank you for the heads up, Carly. That song, uh, I think someone asked, I no longer live. <laughs> I had to think for a second. <laughs> I no longer live. I'm grateful that a lot of these songs are in the D thereabouts. Is, yep, my capo is a long way away as well. Usually gets me out of trouble, but it's been okay. This is number 92.
about me, me favorites. There's a few songs that I've been seeing come up. Um, I think I sort of replaced it with the love mm -hmm. and several others. I must say that they are very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, but my, I'm not sure if I can play those ones. If Annie Sandra was here or something, maybe we could do that. <laughs> but I think that was from one of her f first albums. And I just love those songs. I listened to them as a child. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful songs. So I, I understand why you'd request them, but unfortunately we can't do that today. Fixed, we do that? Um, <clears throat> can we do it on top? <laughs> Two eight five. Ah yes. We could do um sequences as well. So this is a hand that I actually didn't know much of for most of my life, but I don't know if anyone came across it. Um, it's very beautiful though. Jesus calls us. It says, yeah, number 285, Jesus calls us all the tumult of our life's wild restless sea. Day by day, his sweet voice soundeth, saying, Christian, follow me. Jesus calls us from the worship of the vain world's golden store, from each idol that would keep us, saying, Christian, love him more. In our joys and in our sorrows, days of toil and hours of ease, still he calls in cares and pleasures, Christian, Love me more than these. Jesus calls us by thy mercy, by thy mercies, Saviour, may we hear thy call. Give our hearts to thy obedience, serve and love thee best of all. Blessed Assurance, and I saw uh, my friend Carrie just posted. I've seen it come up a few times. Let me just try to remember. Um, come, come now, found was it? Come now, found of every blessing. Okay, we're getting. Maybe we should do. What I mean. So. Blessed assurance, come thou found, and maybe one more after that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll send you that back, sure. <laughs> so the next song is Blessed Assurance, number 462 in the SDA hymnal. <laughs> Coming to a close now, we're going to maybe do this song and one more. And um, maybe we'll sing this song and then I wanted to share a little little thought before we close with our final song. Come now found of every blessing. I think a few people have requested it. Um, just amazed by all of these songs and sitting here singing what a blessing it's been for me uh, to worship together with Ludie and Braden and all of you in different countries around the world and this song just as many others that we've sung is a true blessing with the lyrics streams of mercy never ceasing to call for songs of loudest praise teach me ever to adore thee may I still thy goodness prove while the hope of endless glory fills my heart with joy and love. And there's really truly nothing that can fill our hearts like, like that, and like God's love. Fills my heart with 
suggestion. I'd like to share with you a little thought before we pray and sing our final song, which is yet to be decided, or have we decided? <laughs> <laughs> um, some people have been asking for some, uh, some of our originals. We could do one of them, or we could do a, um, a song that you're suggesting. Um, for Elise and I, we've been here in this country for one, a month and a half, and if I extend it further, the whole process of us sensing and hearing God's call to come to this country, it's been, we're dealing with a number of months. I think it was April sometime where that whole process started. April, May, June, July, August, and now we're starting in September. So it's been a big few months and we've seen God in work, work in amazing ways. One of the things that we as humans do, um, especially as believers, when there are big decisions to make, we, we're kind of scared to make decisions and because we we are scared of taking responsibility for the consequences of those decisions. And often we want God to show us a sign. We want God to make it so abundantly clear so we can go, Whew, oh, it's all good, I can go forward. Um, but one of the things that I've, I've learned in this last few weeks is that um, what we need more than signs and miracles is to know and to trust the Word of God. To know and trust the Word of God. Everyone is looking for signs. The Bible says in Matthew 24, when Jesus was describing the, the signs that would be at the end of time, he says, don't be deceived. There will be many false prophets, false Christs, doing great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, the very elect. If you haven't read Matthew 24, you owe it to yourself to go grab a Bible, look it up on your phone, read Matthew 24. It's Jesus' commentary, prophetic commentary of what would happen just before he returns. So the Bible says there will be lots of signs and lying wonders. If you see a miracle, that does not necessarily prove that it's God. The Bible says very, very clearly that Satan works to deceive with false signs and false um, miracles. In fact, in Matthew chapter 7, there's a group of people that come to Jesus and say, Lord, Lord, didn't we do all these wonderful signs and prophesy and do these, all these amazing things in your name? And he will say to them, you can read this, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. You see, they're breaking God's law, and yet at the same time, they are in possession of some kind of miraculous experience. Just because there are miraculous experiences that you might have does not mean that it is necessarily God. Jesus did not live his life looking for signs and wonders. What was, his, what was his mode of operation? What did God say? It is written. Mm -hmm. uh, to quickly round this off, we've been looking for a house um, over here. Um, we've been trying to find a house in the country. We've read the beautiful book uh, called Country Living, mm -hmm. uh, written by Ellen White, uh, a compilation and child guidance, and also comparing it with the scriptures and the basically... The lessons that God has for choosing a home. You know, often we just go, we often think that God doesn't care about those things, but he does, because our environment really does uh, make an impact on us. We're looking for a house in the country and, and various things, and we've been through about five houses so far. We didn't buy them, but almost, almost <laughs> very, very close to buying <laughs> them. If left to ourselves, we would have. Um, <laughs> and, and the reason I'm sharing this is because um, there's an encouraging point for us. We were like, wow, this is amazing. And it's so easy to find signs and wonders when you're looking for them. Oh, wow. They could speak English. That would be one for me because I can't speak <laughs> Finnish. Oh, wow. This happened and this happened and there's a beautiful sunset and this and that. If we make our decisions based upon 
the ever-changing uh, things around us, if we are looking for signs and wonders, uh, some kind of a sign from God, God, what is it? We're, we're setting ourselves up in a very, very dangerous place because the Bible says that there will be deceptive signs, miracles, and wonders that will almost deceive God's own special people, the people that are walking with him. We have found a home, praise God. Uh, we're in the process of securing it at the moment. And when we first went there, it was kind of like um, the, the stone that the builders rejected. We were kind of looking like, ah, ah, and then we thought it'd be easier to go with another option. But then we realized that everything that God counseled us regarding a home, everything that we find in the Bible and in those books, um, uh, country living and child guidance, everything that we believed God was calling us to, was a green tick in all of them. The other ones had some, but not all. And we were tempted to settle for less. So we were caught because we couldn't afford this house. It was outside of our price range. But we realized that this is, um, if I look at the councils, this is what God wants for us. And uh, we made a, a very low offering, which they accepted. And we are just very humbled and, and, and grateful that God has provided us a home. We have so much peace about it, not because there was some miraculous sign that somehow convinced us that it was a house, but it's in harmony with God's word. And in the decisions that you're trying to make in your life, often we're like Gideon, and God is so compassionate. I've received God's little giving me signs that I've needed at times. We're often like Gideon, Oh God, can you please show me? Can you please prove to me that you're going to help me? When God had already promised his people that he would deliver them. And so, I hope, that, I hope that's a, a clear little message. In your life, whatever decisions you're making, go to the scriptures. And if your decisions are in harmony with them, you can go forward in confidence. But there are some times that we may not see everything and God lovingly steps in and makes his will known, maybe even miraculously. But we need a greater dependence upon God's word um, ask him, as, as Sanders has pointed, ask and it shall be given to you. If, 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 if um, God's calling you to something, you ask him, talk to him about it, and step forward in faith. He's a wonderful counsellor. He's a wonderful counsellor, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely he is. Um, okay. Um, Some people think we can finish with. Yeah. Okay, we're going to finish with a, an, an original song, and we're going to have a prayer. Um, would you like to pray for both? Or would you like sure. To sure. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this beautiful time that we've had together, praising you, singing together, and we know the angels have been singing with us as well. Um, thank you for everyone that has joined us for this and that will be joining in the future as well. We want to just pray a special blessing on them, that you will guide them and... Uh, Fill us all just with your Holy Spirit. Mm. Lord, we ask for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit and for you to draw us closer to your heart, closer to you, and give us a thirst for your word so that we can delve in and really base everything that we do on your word and your counsels. Thank you that you love us so much and that you sent Jesus to die for us. Thank you for this Sabbath. Um, that has started around the world in um, many places, and we pray a special blessing on it. Thank you for answering this prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So many good songs. <laughs> there is so many good songs. Uh, okay. Um, this is from Colossians chapter 2, I think. Um,
Final song, What Heavenly Music. Written by James White. Mm. Hymn 452, What Heavenly Music. for joining us um, for a lot of you it's it's now sabbath good and proper for some of you like us the sabbath is coming and um, whenever it comes to you it is my prayer that it would be a blessed time for you and if the sabbath is not something that you're familiar with keeping and you're wondering what does it mean to keep it's a special day every week that god has set aside to spend time with us it is a time where we are to remember the great facts of our lives and that is that we are made by God, that we are saved by God and that we have a hope in Him. So may those beautiful things flow through your mind this, this coming Sabbath. We'd love to um, bring Levi on to say goodbye but we have no idea where he is. I think he went for a walk, not by himself, you know, in a little carriage. <laughs> um, at least his mum Amy has something so dutiful in, in caring for. Um, is anyone there? Doesn't seem like anyone's there. <laughs> well, God bless you. Um, we're praying for you. Please pray for us. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sabbath.